This daughter was born blind. She needed a job she could do at home. It fits in with home life um, in that I do it mainly in the evenings. I am a person that works well at night and doesn't get up very well in the morning, consequently. But I do work well at night and I do it mainly when the children have gone to bed. Although knitting has become um, almost an obsession with me, I, I can't sit down without having something to do and knitting is my favourite something. After starting with small garments, she's graduated to jumpers knitted mainly as special commissions. But she's hoping the current fashion for Angora will start a permanent boom, breathing life into a cottage industry that could become big business. Kathy Killock reporting, I don't think I'd like anyone coming near me with a pair of scissors like that. Well, the rabbits looked happy enough. It's time for the weather again. Here's Darren Beck. That's right, I hope nobody wants to clip me like that. It's not really my fault that we've had all this fog around the region. We're going to have more problems with fog for tomorrow once again. The weather pattern not really changing a great deal. We've still got high pressure firmly in charge. That's inducing this very light southerly airflow. That's not going to help a great deal at all. Now, we have had very mixed fortunes across the region today. Bridlington, for instance, visibilities this afternoon didn't exceed 100 metres. And in the fog in Lincoln as well, temperatures no better than 5 Celsius. We don't have to go too far away from there as you go over towards Derbyshire, a bit of sunshine, temperatures got to 10 Celsius in Chesterfield. Now quite nasty across the region for this evening, a lot of mist and fog around, one or two showers working their way eastwards as well, but dry overnight, fog becoming much more extensive though, dense in places, visibility less than 100 metres and temperatures dipping down to about 3 Celsius. And then for tomorrow, not a very pleasant start at all, especially if, if you're out in that rush hour traffic, an awful lot of fog around, again dense in places. As we go into the afternoon, perhaps a few lucky places seeing a glimpse of sunshine. I think most of us staying foggy. Temperatures will struggle a bit, but not too bad. A high of around 7, perhaps even 9 Celsius. Thanks, Darren. Now a look at the main stories from the BBC this evening. Russian forces have bombarded the village where the Chechen rebels are holding hostages. Helicopter gunships and artillery have attacked Chechen positions all day in preparation for a ground assault. And speaking on Look North, Roger Maddox, the solicitor representing miners injured by vibrations from power tools, said British coal may now have to pay tens of millions of pounds in compensation. And that's it from us this Monday evening. We'll be back tomorrow at 6.30. Join us if you can from Sophie and from me. A very good evening. Good evening.